Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Clay Ramage and we have another, absolutely another, Goodwill Outlet Bins haul today and boy did we find the stuff. I'm almost overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that I found but you never know when you go there whether it's going to be a big haul or a little haul. Um, I've been having a lot of little hauls lately which is kind of nice in one sense because I have so much stuff to deal with. But then there's days like today where there's just so much stuff that you can't pass up that it becomes a big haul. So, um, thank you for uh, watching my videos. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Thumbs down button. Whatever. Um, we're good either way. But uh, yeah, we uh, so appreciate our subscribers and uh, ever-growing channel. And again, welcome to all the new subscribers. And thank you to all our our old supporters and subscribers. It's awesome. So let's just get into this and I'm going to get the bigger items out of the way first so I have a little more room and we might have to split this into two videos. I'm not quite sure but uh, try not to rush through it but we got a lot of stuff. Anyway first off I spent a total of $48.03. Um, I spent $2 on books, $2 on a dollar on dishware and there's another five cents I'm not quite sure what happened there but anyway um so I've spent a total of 48 dollars let's just leave it at that um so my some of the big items I found were I found three department 56 houses uh in the box still in the there's styrofoam. This one's called the Prairie House. These are all of the Snow Village series. Um, so that's that one. And then we've got the Doctor's House. And again, uh, Department 56 headquarters is just down the road from me. And uh, so they're always fun. And this one is called Cumberland, which is this house. So good score. Um, I probably paid about two dollars each for these based on the weight, um, maybe three, but easily sell between fifteen and twenty dollars without even looking them up to see if there are any rarer items. So that's a good, fast, quick sale. Um, the books I found a lot of lovely antique books. I love the marbled paper on the outside, marbled paper on the inside. There were two that are called Thackeray's Works. Um, there's actually a bunch, I think he had like 21 in this series or something like that. A lot of books in that series. The other thing I found was five of these Shakespeare works. Um, there's eight volumes in this. I found volumes one, two, three, five, and seven. Um, and I had to dig through the bins. And what really surprised me about the books, again, that beautiful marble paper in the inside, is that there are... When I go, there's always these guys that are in the bins. First thing, first thing they do is go to the book bins and go through every single book in the bins. So I was really surprised these were there. Because again, they're not high value um, books. And, the, you know, they're hundreds of dollars for these series. But number one, they're just beautiful books. Great for decorating. Um, but again, Shakespeare, you could easily get 5 to $10 per volume. So there's five. So that's, you know... 50 to $100 for those. Same with the Thackeray's. And I found a whole bunch of smaller ones. And these are not in as good a condition as the others. But again, they've got that beautiful spine, you know, with the gold embossed and the lettering. They're just gorgeous. And again, these are not very expensive and this one is missing its cover i looked all over couldn't find it but the artwork is very art nouveau all of these date from like 1895 to you know 1905 so right in during the height of that art nouveau period one of my favorites was this little tiny one as a man thinketh and it's dated 1965 so this one is an exception but i just love the little tiny book so grab that one so that's our little book haul Actually, i got one more now that I think about it. It's here. It's called Great Green Mansions by Hudson. Um, this is a reprint from the 70s. 
It's a special edition for the Heritage Club. Again, not worth very much at all. Maybe five, maybe ten dollars at the most. But great find. All right. Um, I am going to go over here first. Oops. Everything's getting tangled up. Merry Christmas. Yep, I found a lovely carved wooden Merry Christmas sign. It does have a tag made in Taiwan on the back. Um, you know, so it's probably 90s, uh, 80s, 90s. But again, this is a great piece to put down at the pink elephant for, for the holidays. And I'll probably, you know, I do like $10 on pieces like that. And um, this was exciting find for me. I found an uh, antique oil painting. Obviously, it's not in very good shape. It's not signed that I can see. It, you know, it's a local, you know, it's an amateurish piece. But just the age of it. Look at the back. See the vintage frame. Oh, there's some writing on the frame. I'd be able to discern some more information if I look a little further. But yeah, and then the little keys in the corners to tighten the frame. But yeah, I thought, what a great picture to... Number one, I, I wanted to experiment on doing some cleaning on old paintings. Um, obviously, very gently. Um, and again, this one, not a high-value <laughs> piece, so I'd be willing to, you know, risk it, if you will, for me to learn and experiment on it. Oh, hold it. I found another Shakespeare book. Volume four. Oh, I got six out of eight. I didn't realize I put it in a different box. So, hey, there you go. We're coming up in the world. We're doing a little better. All right. I'm trying to think. All right, we'll just keep going in this one. Um, found this clock. This is not a necessarily vintage clock. But this is a Thomas O'Brien clock. Thomas O'Brien is famous for his acrylic um, pieces. He's a home interior designer, and he does a lot with acrylics. This has an acrylic front. You can see to the side. Oh, that is. Um, it's a metal back. I have to unscrew it to see if there's batteries, if it works or not. But I just love the look of it. The wood back, the brass, and then the acrylic mirror. So, and I pay 99 cents for this because it's battery operated, because it's electronic. So, and I've sold other pieces of his, um, and they do pretty well. I, I'm expecting to get 20 to $30 out of that, which for a dollar investment is a great return. This is one of my favorite pieces that I found. Yes, it's Dennis the Menace and his dog. It's a lamp. It's a tiny Dennis the Menace lamp. Oh, look, it's got a tag on it. Dennis the Man is $12.50. So obviously it was in somebody's store at some point. Now it's in will be in mine. So I need to clean him up. But isn't he just darling? And he's that rubber, so he squeezes. So it'd be like a rubber dog toy. <laughs> but I'm sure that was safety for a child's room. So that they couldn't get hurt on it. Um, I found three of these. They're called Tupperware Toys. So they're the little Tupperware mugs. The other two are in this bag. They're three different colors. Um, but we'll look at that a little later. And then I found a doll. Hair, she needs no hairdo. But she's a pull doll and she still works. She's dated, kind of works. She's dated 1962 on the back of Mattel. So that's why I picked her up. Oh, there she goes. Um, again, I don't know anything about dolls, but I happened to pick up a number of them today. But anyway, um, we'll get into that. I picked up two mugs. These are, this one is just has a design on it all the way around. They are marked on the bottom, made in England. Um, and it's Grish Porcelain with the shamrock and a big A in the middle. Um, same with this one, only this one has a hunting scene on it, which I'm sure will be very popular. And then I noticed after I bought them, there's a repaired chip right there. The little piece chipped out, but somebody glued it back on. So, but again, these are ones that you would use for decoration. So they're signed on the bottom too. Um, but yeah, 
the fact that they were matching in the same bin, two different designs. I thought I'd, again, I'd pay 49 cents each for those. To me, that was worth the risk. Not that I need more mugs. I have plenty of mugs. Um, then I found lots and lots of smalls. Found a whole set of these little lanterns. They're, um, I believe, candle holders. They are stamped on the bottom. Hong Kong. Well, that one is it. Here it is. That one didn't come out. You can't read it. Don't know if you can read it on that one, but. And I think I found six of them. Oh, here's, the, here's some more of those Tupperware cups. And found some Scrabble tiles. Found a Goofy with some sequins on him. Um, oh, and here's a little doll. That's going to go in the other, other um, bin. But yeah, and there's more to this Goofy thing, but I'll find it. Okay, now this is totally out of my bailiwick. Um, but I got it because it's Halloween and it's weird and weird Halloween sells. It's a mask with some really wild hair and it's got a name on the strap. Bole. Now, is this strap original to this? I do not believe so. Um, I believe that the mask was one and then somebody made it into something pretty wild. But I thought, well, I need to start picking up inventory for next year, Halloween, right? Cheap enough. Another season's greeting sign. Um, this one is not marked at all. I looked all over and could not find a stamp of a manufacturer or anything, which is kind of unusual. But, um, yeah, it's just got a nice vintage look to it, though. So we get that one. And then, oh. Let's go to this, these first. Okay, I'm doing the bigger items. Look what I found. It's a leather bag. It says NFL alumni. So whatever that means. These are not like super rare. There are some of them out there. But this one looks like it was never used. Um, it's as clean as can be inside. There's no name on it. Sometimes they have a name. A name um, like they have the NFL division they're in or something underneath it. But there's nothing. And the interior is as clean as can be. So I don't know that it was ever used. Um, so I picked it up. You know, again, it's not a high dollar item. $25. But again, how often do you see one of those? Not very often. I might even use it as a gift. Not very funny. Not very funny. Not very heavy. Now, here. Famous people, right? Famous people autographs. This is an unusual piece. That's why I picked it up. Um... Raquel Welch, two signatures, one here, one there. You say, how do I know that it's an authentic Raquel Welch signature? I don't 100%, but I can tell you that this looks exactly, as close as exactly as you can get, to her typical signature. Um, her, particularly her R, she has a very distinctive style in the way she makes her R's, exactly like this. Um, and what's interesting is I have no idea if you know, this eye symbol is something that she may know of or not. But the other thing is, why would somebody frame a fake Raquel Welch signature? Again, her signature is only probably 20 to $30. It's not a high dollar signature. So somebody would spend that just framing this. So it doesn't make sense that you would frame a... Now, if it was George Washington, it'd be a different story. But Raquel Welch, more than likely, this is authentic. So it's quite dirty. I need to clean the frame and the glass. And then the ink is faded a little bit. So it's been displayed for quite a long time. All right. So the other thing I found was a mother load of cats. Somebody must have had a large cat collection and got rid of it. Um, I found there's, this is a salt and pepper shaker. There's two of these. Just darling little kitties. Um, not marked. I'm going to actually pile these back here. Um... There's this cat with crystal eyes, glass eyes, sparkly eyes, however you want to say it. Cats always sell well. That's why I picked them up. This is a salt and pepper shaker set, another one. Siamese cats. Um, somebody tried to sell it for $2 a long time ago because the masking tape's still on the bottom. It's kind of gross. Anyway, 
I digress so quickly. This one was one of the first ones I saw. It's very cute. Love the color. Um, nice vintage piece. Very, very dirty. Need to be cleaned. Oh, here's the other Siamese cat. Oh, there's some more cats. Must be in the other bag. Uh, again, for the pink elephant, I look for weird, unusual things. This, to me, struck me as very weird. I don't even know exactly what kind of animal you want to call that. A monkey? Maybe? That's the closest thing I could come to. Made in Japan. Marked on the back. On the back. Nice lusterware piece. It was an ashtray. Got the little divots for your cigarettes. So, but yeah. Most unusual piece. Um, oh. Then, um, oh, this was the, somebody must have had a mouse. I <laughs> think because the bag got chewed. What is this? Oh, it's a little vintage Christmas with a bell. I think it's a horse. Horse, of course. It's missing. Yeah. What is it? I don't know what it is. Does it hang that way? From the back, it looks like a horse's head. From the front, not so much. I don't know. I'm lost. Okay. I have... Oh, here's the other kitties. Here's another kitty planter. This one, no marks on it. Most of them do not have marks on it. This one is marked $6. I just grabbed all of them because I thought, well, I can make a nice little collection of them. To sell. Let's see, there's that one there's more of that one there's that one and there's oh, not that one. yeah there's another one of these somewhere found three of these little critters and the reason i picked them up is because they're called their play school um they're richard scary and they're from, dated uh copyright 1976 made in hong kong so i found an, another um richard scary stuffed animal at the bins a couple months ago and um, put that on the pink elephant sold right away so there's you know a lot of those kind of things you can sell what time are we we're 17 minutes all right um let's just say i have a slew of dolls but look at this little mouse I have no idea. He's got the biggest ears of anybody in the world. He is marked Hong Kong on the back. Um, there is another name on there. It's hard to read. But he's just very, obviously, inexpensive little guy. But very cute for a little mouse. Um, I found a ton of Barbie clothes. Like this is has the Barbie tag. It's a velvet jacket, red velvet jacket. There's the Barbie tag on it. It does have a rip, but it's right in the seam. That could be stitched up easily enough. But the velvet's in wonderful shape. Um, and then there were just baggy after baggy after baggy of vintage doll clothes. And, and again, it was pretty busy today, and people were just passing all of this stuff up. I was really surprised it was still there. Oh, okay. So this is a... This, is, this one has a tag. This is a pair of pants. This says Tammy, Japan, Ideal. So they, they actually feel like wool pants. Here's a pair of... Oh, it's a jumpsuit. Here's this letter jacket with a big T on it for Tammy. So these must have all been Tammy's clothes. Yep, there's the tag again. So some of these clothes can be more valuable than the... Um, Dolls. Oh, this is a Tammy sweater. There's another Tammy tag. So, again, I don't know anything other than the clothes can be more valuable than the dolls. Um, I found another sweater. Meow on the back. I thought that was so cute. Oh, this one has a tag in it. And this one is a Tammy also. Um, so let's just say I found a few Barbie dolls. Again, this is my wife's bailiwick, more than mine. So I will have her 
look through these. This one's in a riding outfit with the boots on. I thought that was pretty cool. Didn't find the clothes. Um, and another one. Some of them are the smaller size. Some are the larger. There's another one. All I got to say is I couldn't believe how many. And then here's another bag of clothes. Oh, by the reason I got this, there's a tennis racket in there. <laughs> Our daughter was a tennis player, so I had to pick that up. Here's some other, these are more, a little more vintage, I believe, homemade. You see the rickrack and stuff on there. So these are probably more homemade as opposed to factory made. All right, here's another doll. And, oh, there's the other kitty salt and pepper shaker. I just had so many smalls, I just threw them all into bags as I was packing up. Oh, and I love this. This was a letter jacket. And it's felt. CMHS letter jacket. There's no tag in it. But obviously this is a, you know, commercially made letter jacket. That was loose in the bins. And then, oh, there's another kitty. He's not a salt and pepper shaker. He's just a kitty. He's got a dollar sticker on the bottom. Which probably most of these were 75 cents or a dollar when they were new. <laughs> um, found a cat, little Cabbage Patch doll. Thought that was cute. Um, there's the other Tupperware cup. <clears throat> then there's little... Two of these little tiny baby dolls. And they say Mattel, China. So these are newer ones. But I just thought, well, they'll make a nice collection. Um, another bag of vintage clothing. So again, I have not looked through any of this yet. So you guys are seeing it firsthand. And there's a number of loose pieces. Here's a... I don't have enough hands. There's an exit shirt. Don't ask me what that's about, but an exit shirt. There's this very fancy jumpsuit. It's got the legs on it. It's not a dress. It's got fancy arms on it, too. Again, I didn't see a tag in it, but that would be a commercial one. There's this jacket. Now, this one has a tag. This is a Barbie jacket pretty wild <laughs> so yeah they whoever donated this collection had a had an extensive barbie collection although i almost wonder because some of these had tags on them so i'm almost wondering like this one if i can get it untangled um See, this one has a tag on it. Some of the Barbies had a tag, too. So I wonder if somebody just cleared out their store and uh, donated it all. So but that's a cute outfit. Love the design on that. Here's a very formal dress with a zipper. Amazing. So, oh, there's a tag in the, in the inside. Barbie by Mattel. And again, I'm assuming you could probably date a lot of these by the different tags and designs and all that. Um, and I also found a number of these smaller dolls. And there's five of them here. Many of them in the vintage clothes. I love this outfit. It's a green outfit. <laughs> Is that wild? Or what? Same with this one. Um, oh, I don't think I showed that one. So yeah, so a whole bunch of little dolls, big dolls. Oh, this was one of my favorites. Look at this coat. <laughs> that is so wild. And again, it says Barbie right there. Barbie Mattel. What a beautiful overcoat. All right. We're going to get through this in one video. It'll be a little longer than normal, but we'll get through it. Another cat. Um, some vintage... Christmas ornaments. These are the wooden ones that you hand paint. Just a whole bag. Again, I probably paid 
a dollar for the whole bag, if that. Oh, here's the other baby. Baby Barbie. Um, this is a... Found some pieces of jewelry. This is a brooch. It's missing a few of the um, stones. Again, it's. I don't believe it's an expensive piece at all. It's just... Just a loose piece of jewelry I pick up. As you guys know, I pick up a lot. Oh, there's another little doll I found. This one is dated 1981. Um, and again, bag of loose jewelry, and there's some clothes in here too. Some old doll clothes. So, yeah, we have a lot of sorting through to go. Oh, also, also picked up a couple of die cast cars, a Porsche, an old Tootsie Toy hot rod, and then these different pieces of jewelry, which I'm excited to look at because, again, I don't think there's oh, anything too crazy, but, but um, yeah, so. Um, oh, there's the other piece of that Richard Scary. There are three of them. That's the third one. And then, let's see. Oh, these I picked up. Beautiful Christmas candles. These still have the original labels on the bottom. So, not, not been burned. Um, what does it say? Made in Hong Kong. So these were made in Hong Kong, but yeah, just beautiful old vintage candles. Really like those. So those were kind of heavy, so those cost a little more. Um, what else did I? There's just more itty bitty pieces. Little Barbie hat, little plastic one. No name on it. Another outfit. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Pluto. Um, let's see. Some of these are gifts, so I can't show them, or I don't want to show them. Alright. Oh, 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 I didn't even know I had this. Here's the hat to that coat. Oh, cool. Didn't know I had it. Look at this rolling pin. Is that like darling or what? And then I found a vintage pair of glasses, and they have the clip-on glasses on top of them. And there's no markings on it, so I couldn't really determine what brand these are. What I usually do is I look to see if they say made in China, then I pass them up. If they say any other country, then I take a closer look at them. But, but yeah, look at that nice retro style. Can I put those things down to pink elephant? Let me see if there's anything else in here. Oh, I did find a souvenir coin wallet. And it's from Arizona, but on the bot back it says made in Hong Kong. So that's why I picked it up. Kind of a vintage piece. All right, we're almost to the bottom of all of this. All right, two more Christmas ornaments and we'll call it good. Look at this. <laughs> keep out. The little mouse used the keep out sign to snap the trap to get to his food. I just thought that was a cute little Christmas piece. Odd. That's what we put at the pink elephant. Odd stuff. And then there's this lighted ornament. Doesn't look like it was ever used because the light's still sitting there on top in the plastic. And there's the little guy still in there. So, so yeah, so I picked that up. Again, these are so light, they don't, you know, 50 cents probably for that. And quarter for that, maybe. It's They're so light. So, but those are great things to put down the pink elephant just to fill up the shelf space and make a few dollars as we go. Oh yeah, I did find another pair of these vintage clip-ons. So, anyway, that's pretty much what we have. Yep. I did, last thing is I did find a couple pocket knives. I did not look at these at all. Oh, that's got a crown on it. Um... Again, I just saw they were old, grabbed them. It's one of those things I don't like finding knives in the bins. I've found numerous ones over the years. So I always pull them out, 
either. And I found some big sharp knives that I give to the employees. So anyway, that's what we found. I can't believe we covered that all in half an hour. But thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye.